So what's going to be the product in this reaction? Well, let's see. We have methanol over here, which is a poor base and a nucleophile. Our leaving group bromide is sitting on the secondary carbon and we are doing the reaction at zero degrees centigrade, which is of course is low temperature conditions, which means that we are looking at an SN1 reaction in this case. So the way this reaction is going to work, we're going to start with our starting material and we'll have the leaving group dissociation as our first step. As a result of this leaving group dissociation, we are going to end up with a secondary carbocation, which is right next to a tertiary position, which means that we are going to have a carbocation rearrangement. In order to facilitate the rearrangement, we are going to take the hydrogen with all of its electrons and move it onto the carbon where the carbocation is, giving us an now more stable tertiary carbocation. So at this point our carbocation is as stable as it can possibly be, which means that the only thing that is left for us is the attack from our nucleophile, which in this case is going to be the methanol, giving us the following protonated intermediate, which going to lose the proton to another equivalent of methanol or Br- if you want to show it that way, giving us the following final product. Easy peasy.